so close to center ice, we can hear the fans getting ready for the long, loud howl. This is Glendale, Arizona, where we're about to see the Coyotes. Hello, everyone. Along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro coming up in just a moment. I'm Mike Emery. Tonight, we have one of the top point getters in the league. He leads the entire league in assists, and oftentimes that whole stat gets left behind, but it's pretty important. It is, and especially the guys that play with him, Doc. It's not just necessarily the guy that handles the puck, but it's the players without it. Those guys shooting to those holes, opening up space. But, I mean, this particular player has great vision. He has great ice awareness. And he knows certainly where to put the puck on the tape in the offensive zone. Kessel's looking to add to his lead and assist. I assume he's going to face the top defenders on the other side, so his playmaking skill will be put to the test tonight. Let's look at the starting netminders. This man's in goal tonight. The coach's decision made with confidence for the home team. He's the goalie again. He'll man the crease like he often does, looking to give a solid performance for the Penguins. Opening faceoff is just seconds away. Stepan sent to the big center ice circle for the Coyotes. Crosby's his opposite number for Pittsburgh. Speared along by Ekman Larson. Directing that one to Domi. And he is reefed. Both teams talked about having a physical presence. He got the message. That early hit sets the tone for his team. He heads right for the net. Great poke check. Pittsburgh's carrying on in the defensive zone. Gains the blue line. Terrific glove save. Snapped off a wrist shot. And he missed it. He couldn't be standing in a better spot to shoot the puck, and he misses the net from there. Scooped up by Crosby. The Penguins have possession through the neutral zone. Solid work there by Jalmerson. And so now a penalty will be handed out. Pittsburgh's got two for charging. Well, we love speed, we love contact, but in this particular situation, you must slow up a bit before you make contact. If you do, there won't be a penalty. But here, clearly, a charging call. The Coyotes go on the power play for the first time. Good job on the draw. And the Penguins control the play in their own end. Sent on further, they'll have to return. The Coyotes go back so that they can come back on this power play. And play is stopped on an icing. The Coyotes encourage you to visit their merchandise store. You can find wonderful things to wear, wonderful things as gifts, cash or credit card, or on the web. We're just under five minutes played here in the first. Neither goalie has made any mistakes so far. Looking to declare. Can't get a shot on. Declare's trying to do way too much there with that offensive opportunity. A shot. Marvelous save. No time on that one. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Loose puck captured by Hornquist. And that one's sent back out. The Coyotes will play it from their own end on this power play. He gains the zone. Puts one on. That's what those pads are for. Pittsburgh's goaltending has been solid all year. When you look back at that last huge save, you know why. Arizona's got it. Chip to Demers. At the point of drive. The Penguins shoot it back out. Got some time to check the clock and prepare to defend again. Knocked to a knee. It's loose. Pitching this one to Reeder. And he gains the zone. Puck's loose. Denied by the roadblock. Just great positional play. Gathered in by Stepan. Right there, but can he get it out of harm's way? Propelled to Jalmerson. Moving it to Reeder. What a hit! 
I saw that one coming from a mile away. Block it away. It's concern on the trainer as he takes a look at his player coming back to the bench. He's hurt. The goalie gets to the bench. Still, there's time on this delayed call. What a shot. And play is stopped for a penalty. Pittsburgh's minor is for charging. Well, too many strides taking while making contact and getting the minor penalty. The Coyotes start a power play that's a five on three. It's not a full two minutes five on three, but it might be enough time for them to do damage. Slid to Reader. That shot came from just six inches. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. And the penalty killers come up big again. It's clear. They must retreat and start back again. Snapping a pass to step on. And he gains the zone. Good solid defensive play there. Points it with a wrister. He covers and holds on. Arizona's got it again. Long lead pass. Score! A power play goal, and it's a biggie. It's not how hard you shoot it, but it's the release that counts, and he snaps it home. The butterflies become a default position for the goaltender, Renzo. And while the shot is nice, he's down in that butterfly position way too quick. Some shots, only one goal. A lot of opportunities. Love the mindset of getting pucks and people to the net. And they've won the faceoff. Got that one ahead at center ice. Shot, terrific save, terrific opportunity. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. What a strong wrist shot. Blocked. Time the goal. Seven minutes, Gaining space may be time. Two sticks together, it goes to the offense. Terrific open ice hit. The defense can rest. That's one part of the game the fans love is contact, and it doesn't get any bigger than that. Trying to go to Shiri. Nicely into the zone. Two guys together with force, big force. Yalmerson's not strictly a finesse player. He uses the body to his advantage quite frequently. Fires. Play is stopped. There is a signal. We just wanted to see who it is he's taking off. The Penguins lose one guy off their roster for this one. It's a game misconduct. The Coyotes get another opportunity on the power play. They have connected once already. Arizona's quick on the draw. A five-minute major for charging and a game misconduct. One timer. Save. Twenty-four seconds. Laid on. Cut his glove on it. A drive. Oh my! Score! It's another power play goal. Goaltender had no chance stopping that puck with the quick release. Well, he can't get his pad down quick enough to make this stop. Really good shot, as you mentioned, Eddie. I think that's one he should probably stop. A little over eight minutes remaining here in the first. Just recently, another goal, and so the lead is two. The Penguins with a center ice faceoff win. One timer, not a good shot. Oh, he was trying to be too cute with that shot. You cannot miss the net that badly. Oh, what a break! That shot hit somebody. Gets in, looks over his options here. Gives it on a cross from the point. He shot him right down. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. 
pass attempt to Reeder. And now it's directed to Declare. He is shut right off. Oh, that is a bone crusher, Doc. He went right over top of him. That hit was delivered with intent. They shot it back down. Now they can get ready for another rush. Let's a shot fly. On covered, whistle blown. Well, you know he's happy, guys. He's sitting there on the bench. He's got a couple of goals in his back pocket already. But you know he's thinking about number three. What an achievement that would be to bang in one more. Beat him on that one. Back in front. Score! A power play goal yet again. Especially in the offensive zone. If you want to isolate a defender, you got to get people moving over to the puck carrier to give him more options. That's exactly what happened on this play. The passer recognizes that he's got to get the puck up in the air, but he displays sweet hands as it goes just over the stick and lands flat on the ice. Good job tying the man up on the faceoff. Teammate comes in, and he's hammered. Well, he's trying to spark his team even though they're down. Routine play, done well. Arizona's lugging it along in their own end. He's got it, but has to get rid of it. Solid job of holding the pressure on. Great block, and he's able to just keep it working. Bad luck, broken stick. With a shot. Didn't miss by much. I know what he's trying to do there, Doc, but you got to hit the net in this situation. Centers. Whistle blown, play stopped. The referee will hand out a penalty. The Penguins have accrued a penalty. It's a minor for slashing. Oh, look at the reaction of the puck carrier. He is in some pain. That's a slash. Every game presents a fork in the road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five on three power play, and it begins now. Can he send it out? Cleared back along and out of harm's way. Puck is thrown to Reeder. Making headway through the neutral zone. He's got two goals already this game. He's going to go hard to get that third one. And possession has changed. Brilliant move on that pass. Hammers it. Puck covered, whistle blown. Pittsburgh's physical play opens up the ice for them all over the place. This player has among the highest hit totals in the league. Very valuable, although he's not a big scorer. Just over six minutes to be played. Do you see a pattern developing here? They're up now by three. The Coyotes control the play through the neutral zone. Good save! Oh, and what a tremendous, what a terrific save! He lost it, tumbled down to one knee. Oh, Pocek saved one there. Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right near him. If you're going to score in a 2-1-1, -one -one, guys, you've got to attack much quicker than that. Easy save. The Penguins with a clean win on the draw. Circles on back. On to Reeder. Oh, great cut. Cleared. A lot of work, but penalty time less and less now. Passing one off now to Domi. Pitching it to Reeder. Oh, that's another solid hit. He's going to be thinking twice about the end of this game. And the heat's taken off by the clear. Goalie out of the net, puck on his stick. The Coyotes in their own end have control of the puck. Shoots, flex, another save. Amazing reaction. Save! The Yolts got him on their heels. And he gets it back. Score! He completes the hat trick.
playing against a real aggressive penalty killing unit, you have to change sides to relieve the pressure. That's what happened there. Perfect pass, big result in a goal. Now they say the post is the goalie's friend. Well, sometimes it's not. This just deflects off the post and goes into the net behind him. Just under five minutes to go. You can see momentum in this game. It has shifted and it is expanding even more. The advantage is four goals. Oh, and he's hammered. Finally, they're starting to push back here. They trail by such a large margin. They've been dominated so far. Great hit. That might reverse things. And by number 16. A shot. Padded away. Shoots one. Oh, that one hit someone on the way. Set out, and he'll make them chase it. And possession once again by Demers. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Moving along out of their own end. And that play is offside. Pittsburgh's won that faceoff. A giveaway. Latang's got to shovel it out of there. Got to ice it here. They've taken the heat off again. The clock still moves. Oh, tremendous hit. That rush is over. Directing that one to declare. Cleared back out. Not much pressure there. Offside is called. Somebody got over anxious there. Pittsburgh's team is physical, and they've been physical early in this game. However, they're trailing on the scoreboard, and they look to climb back into it. The Penguins from the neutral zone start to work. Pittsburgh's penalty kill suffered mightily that time. Maybe they could steady the ship here. You know how you help out a penalty kill that isn't very good? Don't take any penalties. That's probably the best advice we have for them right now. Two players slap to the boards. I think he just tattooed them on the boards. Let's it fly. Great glove save. There was some room. Not enough. Great glove save. Bought his shoulder absolutely annihilates him as he goes into the ice. In the draw. Great save. Looking to Demers. Chip to Richardson. Inside the final minute of the period. And the puck is scooped up by Ekman Larson. Richardson's got it in the defensive zone, headed to center. Got his stick on it. That's 20 minutes in the books, and the books have only entries for one team. There are two periods to go, and that's a good thing for at least one team. Overwhelmed in the shots on goal totals in that period. 20 for Arizona and 9 for the Penguins. Pittsburgh's goaltender has had one of those nights, and so this score is lopsided, and we will return after he gets a rest and these words. been played second period about to start a look ahead the penguins are down in this game doc and rightfully so they did not manage the puck at all if they want to get back in that game they got to eliminate those turnovers second period has begun they started even but one team's in a hole 
Pitching this one to Reeder. One into another. Hornquist understanding his role, Doc, with that big hit. He hasn't had many of those here tonight. That might change the momentum in this game. Wonderful wrist shot. Score! Sidney Crosby. Crosby's quick hands allowed him to snap that one off to score the goal. His technique is good. The butterfly is really solid. He just gets beaten with a better shot here. The Penguins win that neutral zone faceoff. Let's it go. Oh, and he missed the net. You know what, Doc? I can see why he missed the net. There was nothing there. He tried to be too fine. Hornquist's going to the box, and the call is tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. The player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. You can just see the confidence when a team is lightning-like on the power play, and this one is. They get another chance beginning now. Set on further, they'll have to return. Into the end of attack. Wonderful block. And this play is whistled down. It is offside. The Penguins rely on him for a lot of their offensive production, and he's delivered. He can score on the power play, scores off the rush. He's a real versatile player. The Coyotes win the draw. What's next? Enormous hit. Ekman Larson's often the object of a target. He's so good, nobody wants to give him much room. But he gets tagged then. Broke it right up. Shoots. Score! What a power play these guys have. a lot. They're rolling. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. Let's it go. A wonderful scoring chance tonight. Domi's played so well for the last little while. His point streak is stretched out again. Guys, you've been talking about him all night, and we've seen why he's been such a prolific performer. The Penguins prevailing on the face-off. He imposed his will. The Coyotes are moving the puck in their own end. Dumped in to Malkin. Right up the side. Gets across, looks over his options. Waffle boarded. Using the point, he's got it. Arizona's got it in the defensive zone. Oh, what a great hit on him, again. The Penguins get two for boarding. The referees, Doc, are out there to protect the players, and in this situation, certainly doing that by awarding a two-minute penalty for boarding. The Coyotes go on the power play again. This could be lightning-like attack on the scoreboard. Pittsburgh's prevailed on another faceoff. And a save! Gathered in by Shen. Moving it to Domi. Propelled to Shen. Flings it. Score! It's another power play goal. Oh, that shot was heavy and dangerous. Good thing it didn't hit anybody. Murray's not able to block this perfectly placed shot. It's just inside the goal post, almost unstoppable. 
Arizona's got a large lead in this game. Let's see if they can build on it or whether they'll start to get conservative. Tie up there and a good reach and possession. The Coyotes love that along up the wing. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Snapping a pass to Hornquist. Perfect tip by the stick. Arizona setting it up as they move through center. Mashed in. A free puck now. The Penguins have been a train wreck tonight. Everywhere they've turned, they've been on the short end of the stick. Effort, physicality, finesse. This has been a terrible night. Enormous collision. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Moved along and in. Paddled aside. To Richardson. Nice tip of the pass. Shoots it on. Shot into the pad. Trying to go to Kunako. Shoots one. Got a piece of it with the glove. He staggered it. Let's it go. Got a piece of that one. What a marvelous collision. Unless you're in it. Sometimes you just run out of real estate. Nowhere to go when he had to take the big hit. Kuhnhockel sent to the box. Two minutes for boarding. Well, the officials are instructed, Doc, as you know, that any time a player gets hit from behind in this fashion, it's going to be a penalty. Arizona's power play has been highly effective, and it gets yet another chance off of this faceoff. Nice faceoff work. Terrific job in holding the puck in. The Penguins shoot it back out. Got some time to check the clock and prepare to defend again. Save! Puck covered, whistle blown. The Penguins' center of offense is this player. He is among the highest total points in the league. He has such creativity if it's not him scoring the goal. He's so good to play with as his wingers just have to get open. A good tie up on the faceoff. That led to his team getting the puck. He's in on an onside play. It's a penalty shot. Boy, the defending player really worked so hard to come all the way back. All he needed to do was take another stride or two. He might not have given a call for the penalty shot on the tripping infraction. Everyone, even we are standing. Good, solid poke check there. Oh, you miss an opportunity like that. You better not be in a hurry to get back to that bench. Just under eight minutes still showing on the clock this period. When your car gets beyond four tires, I guess you can take a blowout. I don't know if we can take this one much longer. The power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. That puck's loose. Good defense. Good job of clearing. Decides to head for the corner. Goalie to the bench. Substitution made. And we get a penalty. The referee to the table, a player to the box. The Penguins will have to sit two minutes for interference. You got to be in control. You just can't run around and hit everybody, especially when they don't have a puck. Every game presents a fork in the road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five on three power play, and it begins now. Takes that pass from the other point. A good stick there, so no complete pass. Wonderful save. He was hovering right over it. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Let's go, Rister. A lightning like glove save. Right to the point. Out of their own end, hanging on to it. Oh, did he ever get mashed? That is a huge hit. Demolkin. Trying hard to get it out of the zone. Great job of keeping that from going out. The stick can break. Terrific stop, but it's loose. Made him stumble. And that one cleared by the penalty killers. Collected by Demers. They must retreat and start back again. Carrying the puck in the neutral zone. Into the attacking end. Score! A power play goal yet again.
advantage. You can't try to be too cute. Once the lane opens up, you must attack, and that's exactly what happened there. Edzo, good airtime on this pass. Flat when it lands, and the shooter has a walk-in. The Coyotes have added to their overwhelming score, and they continue to have the puck most of the time. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. And in their own end, still on the move. Gets in. What will he do? That puck's loose because of the defense. Pass attempt to declare. Oh, does he have a target on his back? Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Right there, but can he get it out of harm's way? And he takes the heat off by clearing. Ekman Larson's carrying it back in his own end, hoping for neutral ice. Big hit, possession gone. Can't get it on net. A quick turnover by the defense. Can they keep it going here? The Penguins have dodged much of the damage. They only allowed one goal on that long penalty kill. Well, I guess that is the positive, that they killed this one off, guys. But it hasn't been a very good night for the penalty killers. They've been running around most of the evening. To Goligoski. Carried right down the middle of the ice. Nice pass ahead. Save! He takes that one right ahead. Good pass. Blocked. Oh, that's more than your normal rub out. There was a pretty good boom when they went into the boards. That is a solid hit. Let's go a wrist shot. Up the half wall. Sanderson. Nice little lead. Oh, tremendous save. Denied a terrific chance. Great block, and he's able to just keep it working. To the last 34. Oh, and he is drilled. Outstanding save with the glove. The goalie gave him the glove side, and he took it away. What a stop. So satisfying to have delivered a hit like that. Down here, you can hear this hit throughout the rink. The Penguins with a face-off win. Puck lifted out, and the next thing we will see are zeros. Crosby's play defensively has grown in leaps and bounds. As a result, he has among the highest plus-minus totals in the league. And that is the end of the second period of this game. One more to go, and who knows, maybe more action beyond that. Through two periods, an enormous number of shots on goal. It reads 32 for the Coyotes and 20 for the Penguins. Murray's had days when he's been spectacular, but this is not one of those. An example there as intermission begins. Forty minutes down, at least twenty minutes to go. What are your thoughts so far? The Coyotes have had their way offensively, putting up a bunch of goals here through the first two periods of play. Let's see how they play it the rest of the game. Do they sit back or do they look to add to their comfortable lead? It's dumped in. Carries it to the corner. Big point blank save there. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. Now it's directed to Crosby. On the outside, a shot. Do you believe this guy? Freezes play. Domingue is able to make what turns out to be a relatively routine butterfly stop. Face off. Blockered away. Backhander to the net. He scores. They hope to make a change with that one.
Sherry's anticipation allowed him to get that puck on the backhand and put it in the net. Wow, Enzo, this is a cannon of a shot. The goaltender stops most of it, but it's too powerful and it works its way in. The Coyotes control from the neutral side. Number 43. Onside. Assisted by number 71. Shoots. Great stick save. The Penguins have gotten to center ice. Turn the wrist shot. No! Another quality chance for him. That's a night he wants to forget. That's a good solid hit. He'll feel that one. Oh, that's going to make them think twice about going to that area. Puck is thrown to Ekman Larson. Readers down again. He has been corked numerous times. Keeps it going up the wing. To Demers. Demers has been a playmaking machine so far. He's got two assists. He's been fabulous. Deflected off the blocker. Penalty call coming. Watch for his signal here. Pittsburgh's getting a minor penalty here for interference. You got to play with controlled emotion. You can't run around and hit everybody, especially when they don't have the puck. You can just see the confidence when a team is lightning-like on the power play, and this one is. They get another chance beginning now. Pittsburgh's got a defensive zone win. And that one's sent back out to center. Passing one off now to Goligoski. It's an onside play. Oh, that's good. Score! Flick of the wrist, put this puck in from the high slot. I think he believes he's got the whole net covered, Eddie, but he's left open the low stick side, beaten pretty cleanly. Arizona's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. Pittsburgh's got that puck off the tie-up. Hammer! Oh, deflected away. He is reefed. Oh, what a great shut down there. Slid to step up. Took that right away. Drag between the blue lines. He throws it there. Waffle boarded. Pitching it to Demers. What a hit. Was that who I thought hit him? Two guys together with force. Big force. Big drive. A whistle and a rest. And let's hear again from Ray. Take a look back at the hat trick. He's been exceptional tonight. Found the open ice, and when he had the puck on his stick, it's not been there very long. Ray, he's certainly one of the three stars in my book. Good clean win. Score! What an impressive goal shorthanded. You get to this high scoring area, a wrist shot is a great choice. Too much room in the top half of the net, Ed, so he's not able to shut down the blocker shoulder. He gets beat right up top. team back on the power play and he has been lethal on a power play he's got two power play goals hammered oh great block yep shot back out ball's fine banked right ahead directing that one to shen nicely into the zone laid on to shen 
Takes his pass from the goalie. Blue line control. Save. Turn the shot on net. That's terrific work with the pass. Sent back out, and so more players can spill over the boards for the Penguins. Gains the zone and looks over his options. A shot. Oh, and that one won't go. He's been there all night long, but he just can't find the back of the net. He is shut right off. You want to be into a game, hit or be hit. And he dumps it in to get a line change. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Shot, outstanding point blank save. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. The world has sort of come through this city in recent games. A long home stand affords you the opportunity to see a lot of teams from around the league. And we are doing that right here. Defensive zone win. The Penguins have it up the wing. Let's a shot go. It's always way more fun when there's lots of goals in the game. The players like it. Well, the offensive ones do. The defensive ones aren't so crazy about it. But I will tell you who hates it. It's the coaches. They always want to have some control of the game. Gains the zone. And he's hammered. And he dumps it in. On to Crosby, looking to Hornquist. That rush is broken. The Coyotes wheel one ahead up the wing. Goalie to the bench on the delayed call. Extra man is out. Play is stopped, and now we'll hear the call. The Penguins have been handed a minor penalty for tripping. I'm going to give credit to the puck carry here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. The Coyotes go on the power play yet again. They have been highly effective so far. Let's see if it continues. Clean win on the draw. And they got it out of there. In possession established on the pickup by Ekman Larson. Pitching this one to Domi. A shot. Great blocked shot. Good place to shoot from. Got to clear it here. Gets in. What will he do? Chooses the corner. Great save at the edge of the crease. A missed opportunity from this close in. That puck came free. Could have been handled. Pass cut. Taken away. To Stepan. Stepan's been right in the middle of all of his team's goal scoring. Pinned up against the glass right now. Scrum over, puck kicked. Save! Outstanding save. What magic even to get there and get the shot off. The Penguins are out of their own end. And the penalty killers come up big again. It's clear. Moving it to Domi. Snapping a pass to step on. Pittsburgh's got possession in the defensive zone. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. Denied by the defense. Puck loose. golagoski has got to shovel it out of there. Oh, and he's hammered. The doctor trying to chip their way back into this game. It's an aggressive play trying to spark their team as they need a goal to get themselves close. The Coyotes, through the neutral zone, glide along. He takes that point pass. That shot hit a man. The Coyotes' power play is over. And this time, shockingly, they did not score. Well, they escape without giving up a power play goal against this time. But it's been too often that they haven't been successful while they've been down a man. Domi's the guy that got hit yet again. And offside is called on the play. Ruedel's face washing him. You do that, you're going to dance with somebody. Whoa, now in the code, that means there might be something going on here. At least one guy's hot. This is not the first time we've seen this in this game. 
Oh, you know he's happy, guys. He's sitting there on the bench. He's got a couple of goals in his back pocket already. But you know he's thinking about number three. What an achievement that would be to bang in one more. Arizona's got it and moving up the win. So we're into the last minute. All is academic here. Pass comes to him from the crease. Gains the zone. Clips that wrist shot. Outstanding save. No further that rush. A shot. Good quick poke check there. Terrific point blank save. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. That diffuses the attack for now. Good face-off win. Wonderful chance was set up, and the pass just goes wide. To declare. One into another. You don't see those type of collisions very often. Goes back deep for it. Trying to go to Crosby. Wrist one. You can almost count that one, but no, what a save. And the game is over. The Penguins coaching staff will have some head scratching to do. Which was the real team? The one that got the winning streak going or the one that sort of showed up tonight? Overconfidence comes to mind as a reason that this team, who has been on a really nice win streak, sees it all come crashing down. And again, we thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the evening as much as we did. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying, Good night.